Hi, this is Pat, and the message that I have tonight is called Carrying the Message. That's the message, and um, it is based on 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 14, and it reads, In your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who ask you for the reason, for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. But let me pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, it's such a beautiful message of salvation that all the world needs to know, but we cannot do it with excellence without you. And so we must know in our conscious mind that you are our Savior and you are our Lord and above everything and above anything must be you and what you desire from us. So, Father, before we go out even to serve you on any given day, I pray, Father, that that truth is very clear in us. And as we speak, teach us, Lord, to be people who are gentle and who exude the fruit of the Spirit because the Spirit is alive in us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hi, this is Pat again, and I want to talk to you about evangelism. Um, the heart of evangelism is the deep gratitude for what God has done. That when a person realizes how magnificent the gift of forgiveness is, how they don't have to live their life in shame and in hatred and bitterness, that they can be free of all of these things that regardless of what a person has done or said to them, they can be set free. And um, that comes through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only one who can bring that type of forgiveness. In fact, there is no forgiveness, no true forgiveness without the Lord. And when we come to understand how magnificent that forgiveness is, then yeah, we are willing to um, let go of things that people might have done and said to us because we realize that there is an enemy there and it's not flesh and blood that the enemy that we see is a spiritual enemy and if we keep mixing it up if we keep fighting the wrong enemy then we are just doing exactly what he desires from us and um, we're wasting the amazing gift that God has given to us, and we're wasting a lot of time. And we don't need to do any of those things, um, keeping in mind that there are so many people who still do not know Jesus as Lord. But we do know him. He broke into our aimless lives and took us away from despair and hopelessness. And this is not who we are anymore. We remember that we belong to the Lord. And he is our living hope. He is going to be with us forever. And he has gone to prepare a place for us. And he is coming back to take us to be where he is. So regardless of the circumstances in our lives, you know, the people here, the people with this whole thing with the pandemic, they have lost it. 
uh, because they forget that God is above all of our circumstances. There is nowhere that we can be that God is not. He's with us at all times. He's a promise keeper, and he has promised us he would never leave us. He will never forsake us. And so if you don't feel or even know or have ever experienced that never-ending, reckless love of the Lord, ask them. Ask them to love you in a way that it makes truth comes alive for you. Jesus is truth. And if you don't know him, and you're still wandering around, that is the problem. Take it from someone who was there, wandering around, um, aimlessly despairing. For me, um, my drug of choice was food, always running to food, always overeating, always feeling hopeless because of what I did with the food. But not today. Um, I am able to eat in a God-honoring way. I'm able to have peace. But maybe your issue is not food. <laughs> your issue might be drinking or drugging. Or even things like family. Maybe family is so important to you. That you lose your peace. And you lose your direction because of what someone is doing or not doing, then that someone is bigger than God. And God defines that as idolatry. Anybody, anything we have bigger than God is an idol. But we don't have to um, have idols. Idols don't work, but God does work. And so, um, if you are without peace, remember that Jesus is our peace. When he is in our heart, and when we have given him the first place in our lives, we know a peace that passes all understanding. And when we have that peace, other people can sense it in their lives, they, they want to be around us. Not because of what we've done, like the Bible says. Not because of righteous things we had done. It's because of the mercy of God and the spirit that he places inside of us. And so we want to be people who have that wonderful difference. And that difference is Jesus. He teaches us how to articulate clearly this message of new life. This is why we stay in his word, so that others can be saved. Every moment that we are in the word of God, we are actually being changed. Um, he will use us to make that eternal difference in the lives of other people. This is who he is. And just as other people did that for us, um, he wants to use us to do it for other people. And so this is why I know it's important for me every single day to be in his word, to be um, in that, on that training ground, to know that he will train me and teach me all that I need to know. Um, on a daily basis, and um, I'm there, I want to be there to show up for my um, teaching on a daily basis, and I hope you do too. Um, stay in his word. There's no better place to be, and there's no better training ground um, for evangelism. You love people? and you want to help them to come to know Jesus, then stay in his word 
and stay out of known sin. No, you're not powerless over sin, regardless of what people have told you in the past. In the past, you definitely might have been powerless over, over sin. You might have been powerless over food and money and sex and all of those things. But once you came to Jesus, his spirit has been placed inside of you. And it's that spirit that helps you to, um, to do what needs to be done. Everything is doable. By God's grace, it's doable. So stay in his word. Stay out of the known sin. But also stay in the middle of the right herds that we need each other. We need to be praying for each other. We need to have others praying for us. This is why the Lord left the body of Christ um, so that we can be there for one another. But let me pray. Father God, in the name of the Lord, um, we do want others to know of this great love that you have given to us through Jesus. Help us, Father, to be people of your word. Help us, dear Lord, to continue to grow in our knowledge and love of Jesus. Let him set our hearts aflame every day. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. Thank you again for letting me share with you tonight. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.